Come here to Gordon. What is it, Luchias? Sir, we have serious trouble out there. The entire compound has been trying to reach you via the radio. But because of the zombie earth, EMP solar flare mega volcano, downfall of society, civil war, natural disaster plague, they can't get any orders from you. That's absolutely absurd, Luchias. I have my radio right here. It's the same radio that we issued all the members of our group. Well, I'm sorry, sir, but they can't reach you. And we need directions on how to bug out or bug in or whatever the hell we're doing. We need help, sir. These radios are absolutely terrible. <clears throat> You're right, Luchias. We need help. We need the outdoorsman. Commander Gordon, nobody has seen him in months. He hasn't even posted anything to his YouTube channel. Ah. Damn it, Luchias. I don't want to hear any more excuses. Get going. Turn on the signal. Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, to the Outdoorsman YouTube channel. I really hope you enjoyed that intro. I had a ton of fun making it, and I really hope you guys got the reference. Now, for those of you just tuning into the channel, my name is Will. I am the Outdoorsman, and today we are going to be talking about one of the newest radios on the market, the UV21R. We're going to talk about why people like us, highly prepared citizens, should own this radio. And as a special Christmas treat to all of you guys out there, at the end of the video, I am good. Oh my f Christ. And as a special Christmas treat, everybody, at the end of this video, I am going to be doing a little bit of a blooper reel. It won't be very long, maybe 10, 20 seconds. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is not going to be a video where we dive down the rabbit hole of communications, FCC regulations, moronic licenses, sad hams, angry internet commenters, and how much the ATF sucks. Uh, like you, I'm probably someone who does not use radios on a day-to-day -day basis, but I really wanted something new, something good, um, where if I found myself uh, knees deep in an active situation, I would be able to have comms with the rest of my group. But as usual, ladies and gentlemen, before we get into this video, I have to thank the biggest supporter of this channel, and that is still you, my viewer, thank you guys so much for coming back week after week, watching me talk to you and creating a wonderful group of like-minded individuals. If you guys happen to be a first time viewer, please do me the honor of hitting that subscribe button. Make sure you're commenting. Let me know what kind of radios you guys are running. What do you like? What don't you like? Do you think the Baofwango radios are shit? Let me know down in the comments. And of course, don't forget, as of now, new videos every week. I'm so sorry I was gone for so long. I have a real job for the time being, so had to get all that stuff done. So here she is in all her glory, the Bufwango uh, UV21R. And at the time of filming uh, this video, this radio is $25.89 over on Kamizan. Now for under 30 bucks, for me, that's a no-brainer, super great deal. Um, they even have a two-pack of this radio uh, for somewhere around 50 bucks. And that's pretty good because as prepared citizens, we don't spend a lot of money on gear, training, and equipment, or firearms. Uh, we spend it all on deodorant, toothbrushes, toothpaste, water storage, and our precious cans of beans, peas and MREs. Now, just real quick, this radio was released on April 25th, 2023, so it's a lot newer than these other two radios over here. And I think what's important to mention here is that this radio, the UV21R, is completely unlocked. Now, what does locked unlocked mean? Well, it means simply that the UV21R, as well as the green radio over here, you can transmit on all frequencies. If you were to buy a locked radio, um, like this UV5R, 
um, you would only be able to transmit on the whatever the hell acronym GMRS or the elusive, highly self-regulated, highly self-policed ham bands. And on those GMRS or the ham bands, you need to have a so-called license to transmit on. If you transmit on those frequencies without your license or your call sign, those ham gentlemen, they will narc you out to the FCC or the police. If they have time, of course, in between ordering pizzas and talking to random Chinese men across the ocean. But let me say this, and I'm obviously not a lawyer and I'm not giving any legal advice here, but if you were in an active situation, a natural disaster, a flood, whatever, or maybe you're stranded somewhere, you're injured, you've run out of MREs, I mean, and you transmit on a police frequency, a fire frequency, a ham, whatever, nobody's going to give a shit. Nobody's gonna come after you, the FCC isn't gonna come after you, the police aren't gonna come to your house and arrest you. I'm pretty sure it would be perfectly okay. If you disagree, let me know down in the comments why. But I digress. Um, this radio is a six watt radio. I, I cannot verify if it is actually six watts or not. I am not a radio dork. I do not have the equipment to test it. I'm sure there's other videos out there that prove it or disprove it. Now, the antenna here, this is a 14 and a half inch long antenna, but as you'll notice compared to the green radio, it is not very thick and we all know Thickness is what counts. Now I'm down here in the outdoorsman compound. We are below grade and that was my local fire department and I am picking them up. And that repeater, she's about seven miles away. Now, one of the things that I love about this radio as opposed to the green one or the UV5R is that this radio has a USB-C charging port. And that is great for people like you and I, always on the go, we're in our vehicles, we're hiking, whatever. So we can now charge this radio in our vehicles. Most of our modern vehicles have either a USB or a USB-C media port, and that will charge this radio. You can also hook it up to a portable battery bank, or even some of those really awesome solar chargers that you get over on Timu. Um, while we're talking about the battery, another really cool thing that I like here is that the battery attaches to the radio via this screw, which honestly holds it in there extremely tight because a tight screw really is the best kind of screw. And this will keep your battery from slipping out uh, even though you had the best intentions. Now I have read conflicting information um, on the interwebs from the radio dorks um, as to if this is waterproof or dustproof. Um, as of today, I have not had a chance to get my fingers in there and get it really wet. But what I can tell you is that I did leave this radio uh, in my vehicle for a couple of days where we had some sub-freezing temperatures. Um, and when I turned it on, the battery had only been affected ever so slightly. And then I brought the radio in from my truck, uh, brought it into the house, turned it on, um, and I did not see any type of condensation um, behind the screen, which is usually indicative that it is not very waterproof. Now, you can sit down in your basement and you can manually program this radio um, following the instructions in the manual, which oddly enough is written in very good Chinglish. But my preferred method of programming these radios is using a software program called Chirp. But let me tell you something, Chirp is a game changer for the hobbyist like us um, because there's so much stuff you can do to your radio and you can really maximize uh, the value of a $30 Chinese radio. But here's something that I have not seen on any other YouTube channel that if you are going to program this radio with Chirp, when you go in to the pull down menu to find your radio, you are not going to find the UV21R. You are going to want to select the UVN Pro. And once you select that, you'll be able to program this radio. And you will be able to transmit on any frequency that your little hearts desire. You are also going to need a cable to program this radio. I will leave a link in the description. Now, while we're on that topic, like I said, the ports on the side here are for Kenwood style adapters. And I happen to have a PTT laying around here and you just simply plug it in, turn the radio on and you have your PTT ready to go. And that's something that I think that we need to talk about for a second here, folks, is that everybody in your group should all have the same radio or the same style of radio. Because if your radio breaks and your buddy's domed 
um, you can just simply take his or her radio, put it in your pouch, plug in your PTT, and you're ready to go. All right, let's talk about the cons of this radio. And guys and girls, I gotta be honest with you, all the Bofangs have this. I don't know why. It is the dumbest thing ever. But if you push this button on the side here, it has a will time flash white. Um, and you can, you can make it flash like that. Um, I think that's probably one of the stupidest things on any radio ever. Um, what I do is I just put a piece of electrical tape over all of the lights. Uh, that way I don't accidentally turn it on um, and be spotted by somebody I don't want spotting me. As of today, I have not figured out how to take these radios apart and desolder the wires or cut them or whatever. If you guys have done it out there, please let me know down in the comments how to do it because I would love to be able to permanently disable these stupid lights. Another thing that I don't like is this belt clip right here. And you'll take a look and notice that on my other two radios, yeah, the belt clips are gone. This belt clip, it's not held on well. It's pretty chintz. Um, so I'm 100% confident that at some point this is going to snap off and just end up in the bushes somewhere. Another thing that I think you should be aware of is while the long antenna is awesome because you're going to be able to transmit and receive a little bit further, um, just an FYI, if you have this in your belt or up in a plate carrier and you go to look at your watch or look down at your ATAC, uh, most likely that antenna is going to end up somewhere between your retina and your cornea. And with all that, I don't really have anything else negative to say about it. The buttons are a little loud, but I'm just nitpicking at this point. I think maybe we should, you guys let me know, but I think maybe in about six months or so, we should reevaluate and see how this radio is holding up. Um, it's going to be my daily carry radio. So make sure you have subscribed. Thanks for watching. Don't go anywhere yet. Stay tuned for the blooper reel. And that is all I have for you. And we'll see you guys next time. Are you going? Yeah. Okay. Am I just going? I'm um, thinking. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> Where does my thumb go? It doesn't, your thumb doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, that's fine. Are you, are you ready? Yeah. Are you? I am. Okay. Oh, wait, I have to switch. I can't tilt it if my hand's like this. My yeah. hand's not big enough. It is big enough. You just, no. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. I all of a sudden, I can't hold it. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. <laughs>